uh, we will talk now about the uh, right femur. The femur. Uh, the femur is connected to the hip bone that we have uh, described in the last uh, video. Now we will talk about the femur. The head right of femur, femur is connected to the uh, acetabular fossa and they both right share in the formation of the hip joint. joint we will talk about it later. Right now femur. let's describe uh, the right femur. femur. The femur is a long bone. It has an upper end, lower end and of course a shaft right femur right femur right femur right femur right femur right femur okay now we will talk about the upper end of the femur the most prominent part of the upper end or the proximal end or also can be named the superior end of the femur is the head of the femur immediately uh, below it the neck of the femur it is a prominent part of the femur uh, the head shares in the formation of the hip joint uh, and the neck uh, also shares in the providing some of the blood supply uh, through it to the head right we will talk about this later right femur now uh, as you can see there is two right there femur. are two right femur there are two uh, projections coming out of them from the uh, upper part uh, the proximal end of the femur this one is named the greater right femur uh, trochanter right femur. okay it projects upward wa later and laterally right femur. while the other right one femur. is the lesser Trochanter, uh, trochanter, it projects uh, posteriorly, posteriorly as well as medially. Now, between the two uh, trochanters, there is intertrochanteric crest. Now, as you can see, between the greater right femur, trochanter, and right femur, right femur, the lesser trochanter, intertrochanteric crest. Now, if we go right femur uh, to the right to the front femur. of this bone here you can see between right the two femur. the greater trochanter from this side and the lesser trochanter there is intertrochanteric line so it is a line anteriorly and it is a crest posteriorly so let me summarize to you again the main parts of the upper uh, of the proximal part of the uh, femur head of femur neck greater trochanter lesser trochanter intertrochanteric line right and femur. posteriorly right femur we have this prominence the intertrochanteric crest of course there are uh, other parts but right we will femur. not talk about them right now femur. More details maybe right later. Femur. And this is in the head. There is uh, this uh, small fovea capitis. We w would also talk about uh, its right uh, importance right maybe femur. later. Now, uh, if right we femur. move right to the lower end of the femur, right femur, right we femur. move to the uh, right lower femur. end of the femur, right femur, we would see the. Uh, distal end inferior end or the lower end of the femur uh, this part shares in the formation of the knee joint uh, it articulates to the tibia and the patella uh, right femur the main right femur the main right femur. parts of this and are the condyles as you can see huge condyles uh, femoral uh, condyles. One of them uh, are on the same line of the head. It is the medial condyle. The other one should be the lateral condyle. So they are, as we can see, big, huge condyles. Right femur. If we look on the sides, on the lateral side, there is another prominence here called uh, the lateral epicondyle. Right femur. Of course, there is another one right on femur. this side right here 
right beamer. Be this prominence called the medial uh, epicondyle. Right so we beamer. have two epicondyles. We have two right beamer. condyles. Right beamer. And we have here intercondylar right beamer. area. Right beamer. Inter Condylar right area here. All this is the intercondylar area. Right femur. Also, what we right can femur. can be appreciated uh, on the uh, lower right end on the medial side, and always remember the medial side is uh, on the line uh, in line with the head. Here uh, right must femur. be the adductor tubercle, a small tubercle for the insertion right of the. Uh, adductor uh, magnus now we we need to uh, right femur right femur right femur right femur right femur make some quick right revision femur. for the whole right femur bones right for femur. the whole femur right femur as you can see right femur. let me go with you right femur through them right femur again fovea capitis right where femur. is it it's here it's a small fovea capitis of femur right femur and the head of the femur also right femur right femur the head of the femur as you right can see femur. here the greater trochanter of the femur this is the lesser trochanter right of the femur. Right and femur. If we go and look at right femur. Right femur. Right femur. Here. Uh, also, we can see the neck of the femur, uh, lesser trochanter, uh, inter trochanteric uh, crest. Uh, there is also some details here, perfect details. Uh, if you just uh, to go through these details, the quadrate tubercle of the right uh, femur. Uh, also here we can uh, see the gluteal tuberosity of the uh, femur uh, ending up here with the pectineal line. These details we may uh, uh, talk about them later on. Now right femur. Uh, let's talk about the body of uh, right the body of right femur. the right femur, femur the shaft right femur as you can see right it is femur. triangular in a cross section so if we can take a cross section it would be uh, a triangle in shape what does this mean it has an anterior surface and two uh, medial surface as well as lateral surface it is almost rounded uh, and smooth anteriorly right femur. and most of the right femur uh, impressions uh, are on the posterior surface uh, in a prominent line called linea aspra now linea aspra it is in the middle uh, coming as two uh, lines coming to each other as it descends down it it diverts uh, uh, and become two uh, lines uh, intercondylar area here and of course there is supracondylar uh, lateral and medial uh, ridges we call them on the posterior surface so the linea aspra in the middle and it divides into two supracondylar ridges lateral and medial uh, the one near to the head here on the medial side it's the medial on the other side it's the lateral and between them, as you can see, the uh, popliteal uh, surface uh, of the femur. We will talk about it later on. And of course, finally, you would see the intercondylar line uh, of the uh, femur. Uh, so, uh, right summarizing femur. the uh, femur again. Right femur. It is a long bone. It has upper end lower end and the shaft. The upper end has major parts, head, neck, greater trochanter, lesser trochanter, intertrochanteric line between them. And of right course, femur. when we uh, move right it femur. Uh, right posteriorly, femur. Right femur. you can easily also see the intertrochanteric crest uh, and the quadrate tubercle. Over here, we can see the lesser tubercle. So 
these are the major parts of the upper end. Then the shaft, you can see the linear aspra, uh, supracondylar ridge, right, uh, lateral and uh, medial, obliteal surface. Right femur. From an, uh, right the femur. anterior surface of the right femur. Uh, body right of the femur. femur, there is nothing more than describing it as a rounded surface. Right femur. Now let's talk about the uh, let's talk right about femur. the lower end. It has two condyles, lateral and medial condyles. Right it femur. has epicondyles, medial and lateral. Right femur. Uh, right and femur. of course, posteriorly, right femur. can see easily an intertrochanteric, uh, intercondylar uh, fossa, and of course here the popliteal surface. Uh, and this is the end.